Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I will show you how to create an Excel file and uh, transfer some data in it with the help of your C-Sharp application. So, Microsoft doesn't provide any free libraries uh, to create a, an Excel file with C-Sharp, but there are some open source uh, libraries for example, Excel library by Google Codes, which is free and open source. So I'm going to show you today how to use Excel library with your C Sharp project to create and write an Excel file. So let's get started. First of all, we will download the Excel library. So in your browser, write Excel library, okay? And the first link you will see is from Google code, code.google.com for Excel library. So just click it and you will reach to the Excel library website. In here, you just go to downloads and download the latest DLL file which when you download will be downloaded in the form of zip file okay so it's already downloaded I open it it contains only one DLL which is Excel library dot DLL I will extract this file generally I prefer to extract my file in my project folder so I will select that folder and I will extract this file and then I return to my project I will also show you where I have extracted my DLL file here in the project where my solution of my project is there I have extracted my file there my DLL file there so let's go further now you need to add this dll into your project so go to your solution explorer here and right click your project and go to add references and in here you just go to browse okay and you just browse your library so just I will go back and I will just select my library which is Excel library dot DLL just select it and it will be added to your references if you go into your references you just see it's added into your reference section of your project now to run uh, this library and to use this library I will take a button from the toolbox and I will change it its text as create excel file so when I press this button it should create an excel file for me and I should be able to write some data in it so just select this button and double click it and we will reach to the code section of this button click event before uh, writing any code we need to import some files so go at the top and here declare using excel library dot spreadsheet okay so this is a library from the 
excel library you can also select or add other files like binary drawing binary file format and compound document so if we face some error while writing our code then we will add the extra libraries here okay right now just add these two libraries now once again go to your code click bu this button once again and here is the code section now if you have seen on this excel library website on the project home here on the main page they have provided example code okay so i'm going to use this example code to test it whether it works in my project or not so i will just copy that code in project home in the google code library excel library website okay and i will just copy and paste this code as it is here so everything is fine but i'm here it's not giving me the clearance or it's giving me error so i will just comment it for now to see what's what is its output and i will leave all the code as it is i will also change the directory so i will leave the directory as my default project directory where my executable file is there so i am not providing any file any extension if you want to provide any path like c and something path so you can also provide like that but i will generate this file into my project folder okay and once this is done i want to show the message so i will write message box dot show and the bracket make it closed in the bracket i will write file created for example okay so just copy and paste uh, that same code which is available on the excel library website on google codes and just paste it there and you just change the location and now i'm trying to run the program so i will press this button and see if my file is created or not so press and my message shows file created okay so i will click okay so it has created a file for us let's see in the folder if that file is available or not yes when you go into windows whatever your project name is in bin folder so let me show you in your wherever is your solution go to that project and then go to the bin folder then debug if you are making your project in debug mode and then here wherever your executable file for your project is there it there uh, this x excel file is generated okay so i will just try to open this file open with excel and i will say yes and it has generated me some excel with some random values because i think this is because i commented that for each loop so i will sort that 
in the meantime in next video uh, I will show you how to link this Excel with your database so I will show you how to create an Excel sheet and export your data into the Excel sheet so stay tuned and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now